I work with a simple definition of cynicism, which is that cynicism describes the person who is determined never to be disappointed again. And I came to Lambeth 22 totally cynical about the whole process and about what we were going to do. That cynicism has been totally turned round into an aspiration for holiness that actually I can walk with my, my friends from the third world and, and my friends from the first world we can walk together in our aspiration the very aspiration to be with God because we began the conference by talking of holiness and holiness to me is about holiness, wholeness and integrity. Every aspect of our lives being recognised as being with God in some way. And that has been very much the, the feeling of these days that we spent together. Obviously, one of the great calls was the call for reconciliation. And reconciliation can only begin when we're reconciled within ourselves to who and what we are. And there is God with us. That's what Jesus came to actually show us. And it's being acted out in these days together. My own Bible study group, in Ke I have encountered people from Kenya who are facing the election next Tuesday. And they are in real danger uh, when they get back. Of, of electoral being intimidated. I'm with people from Sudan who face every day, they face the sight of people being killed, killed in the streets. And I find that almost totally impossible to reconcile with my Christian faith until I actually actually remember that God is love and love does conquer, conquer all and that is what Jesus Christ is all about. When we consider the call on human dignity we are all made in God's image and we walk together, we aspire to holiness, we aspire to reconciliation in our world. It seems so far away and yet the very aspiration unites us in marching together just as last November in Motherwell and Wishaw I met young people who are, were walking to Glasgow for COP26. Some of them had been walking for weeks. It had taken months, to act, years to actually organise the walk, but they were walking together. It now seems as though COP26 was so long away and it was such a different world at that point that is it worth it well yes it was worth it because what I took from the young people that I met in those 10 days in those place, small places in the Glasgow Diocese what I took from them was hope real hope because I know that whatever the world leaders do those young people will never ever lose their hope and their enthusiasm and their sense of being with God in all that they do and all that they are and that is what will lead us forward I hosted a table yesterday on behalf of the Archbishop for, 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 for people from all over the again all over the world for, uh, who are were considering climate change etc etc I I have no idea really, except that I do notice in my in our own country the change in temperature that the the the, the 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 gardens at Lambeth Palace were parched, absolutely parched. They obviously haven't had any water for months, never mind weeks. That brings the, the climate change home to me. But sharing on our table with people from, from India, Tanzania, we again have something in common in that we recognise, but we aspire, we aspire to do something in our world, to walk together to make climate change known, to actually make take practical steps to, to, to stop it, etc. Small steps. But the journey of a thousand miles, it's a Chinese proverb, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step.
And we took that step as a table at lunch yesterday together. We had a Westminster MP with us who was totally bowled over by the, 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 the hope that people have that something can be done. We are not a legislative body here, a bit like COP26. We can only call, we can call people to know God. We can call people to aspire to holiness and we can call people to actually grow into the image of God with all those people with whom I'm surrounded and all that they represent at this conference. God is with us. Thank God.